Hello my loves, welcome to my channel Sun Love Stars, welcome to today's reading. What are we going to look at today? Today's reading is going to be about your journey to your future spouse, to your true love, to your soulmate, whatever you want to call it. And what we're going to look at is where you are at on your journey to your future spouse, where your future spouse and your true love is at currently right now. We're actually going to look at what they're doing right now what they are currently experiencing in life, what you are experiencing in your life and how those two energies come together. So we're also going to look at what you have to focus on to get closer to your true love and what is going to happen right before you guys meet, what is going to happen for them and what is going to happen for you. And I actually plan to do, I actually plan to do a separate video about like, what is going to happen right before you meet your true love and your future spouse and the one. <laughs> yeah, so let me know if you would like to have like a separate video on that. And I would say you choose a stone in the next clip and then I'm going to see you in your reading, finding out where you guys are at in your journey and how you guys are, you know, coming together and what you can do in order to get closer to your true love. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys. Hello my beautiful pie number one, you chose this beautiful citrine stone over here. Let's look at your cards. First of all, I want to look at where you are at in your journey and when it, where your true love is at on his or her journey right now, you know, like both of your energies and then how they come together. <laughs> um, what I'm feeling here is um, my beautiful pie number one, I feel this energy here that you are currently really focused on something. This could be, I'm feeling for some of you guys, you recently moved your apartment, like you recently moved to um, a different apartment or your contract is ending. I'm seeing a lot of you guys, you're also looking at contracts like your for your apartment or at like a job contract or some type of like legal document is something that I'm seeing here. Um, for others of you, I'm also seeing here again, it feels like you recently moved to a different apartment or you are sending applications to move to a different apartment. I don't know why I'm feeling that with that card, but it looks like you're really focused on something. You're trying to find the, like the details, like reading the fine print on documents or if it's not that, if it's just metaphorically, it, it, it feels like you are really focus on something right now finding some like you're trying to find something out about yourself about another person about the situation you're very focused here um i am also seeing here that a lot of you guys you are focused to kind of like get your life back together or to be a little bit more organized with your life to even be a little bit more cleaner like to keep your room or your apartment a little bit more clean because you have the tendencies to be a little bit messy how do you say that? <laughs> Isn't it the genius lives in chaos or something like that? I think there is a proverb or like a saying that says like only um, a genius can handle a can handle chaos or something like that. But overall, I'm feeling this energy here again. You're very focused on something. I don't know what this is. You're really like looking at something like almost like a tunnel vision. This could be you are very focused on your career or you're very focused on like organizing something that has something to do with like contracts and leases and you know signing papers and something like that or to just get a little bit more organized in general with your life and to see like okay what do I have to focus on next in my life and you know how do I really want to like build my life and what is my um, structure like how do I want to structure my life you know um, I'm also feeling here my beautiful pie number one 
for a lot of you guys i am feeling here that you are what i immediately felt with that energy here is I don't know if it is your friends or if it's just in general like your family or whenever you are at the family gath uh, gathering or when you are with your relatives um, or when you are with your friends there's this type of like conversation that all men or women are um, shitty and that you know relationships don't work out and marriages don't work out and every second marriage is getting divorced so i'm feeling this energy here those people are like to me this feels like people that are complaining about like all men are shitty and marriage doesn't work and every man is cheating and you cannot trust women because they leave you for another dude and stuff like that so i'm feeling here I'm feeling this energy here it almost feels like that you guys want to find out for yourself if, if it's really the truth i'm feeling this energy here that you're maybe like surrounded even if it's not literally people in your life this could also be you are on instagram and you see all these kinds of quotes of like he doesn't like you and all men cheat and something like that so that's the type of vibe that i'm picking up here i also feel like it's a little bit um you're the type of person you need peace and calmness and i feel like it gives you a little bit of tension like you're i'm feeling this energy here you're trying to get to a place where you feel calm and comfortable but it could be that you are right now in a little bit of like a messy energy in a sense where for example if we take it metaphorically moving from one apartment to another is extremely messy right everything is laying everywhere and you know it's a lot of like organizing and stuff like that that doesn't mean that you are a messy person it just means that the transition from your old life to your new life is a little bit messy i'm definitely feeling here that you guys are trying to manifest a new life for yourself where you truly feel in alignment with who you are but also a life that feels abundant to you where there's a lot of freedom and a lot of happiness and a lot of like um, just beautiful things for you to experience and explore and just again a little bit more organized now where is your future spouse at or your true love at where are they at in their journey <sighs> why is it for so hard for me to breathe So what I'm feeling here is with your future spouse. Now I'm also seeing here for you guys, I'm just feeling this energy that you're still in your glow up um, energy where things where you're still in the transition of like from a, how do you call that from a caterpillar to a butterfly? You're still in the process of becoming very confident in who you are as a person and also very confident in your beauty and what looks good on you and what doesn't look good on you or to actually find out what is your way of expressing your femininity when it comes to your outer appearance or just in general this energy of like still finding out what is the best hair product what is the best skin product for you what is the best type of like um, hair color that looks good on you you know but overall again i feel this energy here you're in the transition to manifest a new life for yourself and i'm also feeling here that some of you guys you have been you have this very strong dream to have your own child and you also develop mother feelings when you sometimes go out and see like little children this could also be something that you have been experiencing a lot but i just feel in general there's like i feel this energy here that you are somebody who believes in true love and you believe in all of that but you also have people around you or voices around you that complain a lot about their relationships and you know um that complain that every second marriage just doesn't last and something like that that's a type of vibe that i'm picking up here now for your true love i'm feeling this energy that they recently actually checked out of a relationship so i'm feeling here here that they recently ended a relationship with the um, world card and the hierophant so your true love is single and ready to mingle they recently ended a, a relationship here i'm feeling the vibe here it's very interesting guys because on your end we have the empress which the baby is still in the belly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and here, the baby's out of the womb. <laughs> Do you see that energy here? Do you see that? Do you see that? <laughs> um, what I'm feeling here, guys, is um, 
I'm actually feeling here that your true love was in a relationship with somebody and this could be that the somebody that they have been with did not want children and that was the reason why they said they have to end the relationship because their um, their desire is to have children as well. This could be a reason why this relationship recently ended. Another thing that I'm seeing here is um, it could also be that your true love, the one, your soulmate was in a relationship with somebody and they looked at the future and they saw that the relationship cannot work out. There has been some really toxic things. This could be that this person has been like very jealous or you know those toxic things that come up in a relationship. So what I'm feeling here is they looked at their ex-person and said I don't think that I want to have children with you or I don't think that I see you as like the parent of my future children so i feel like children has been like a big factor here another thing that i'm picking up here is as well that your future spouse the relationship that your future spouse or your true love has been in um, was a relationship um, where they felt like they couldn't it was like a very serious relationship where they couldn't be goofy or I don't know how to explain it. It almost feels like they couldn't be their true self in the relationship here. I don't know why, what held them back, but I feel this energy here that they that they didn't see a future in the relationship that they have been in because they saw like a lot of obstacles, a lot of like tox toxicity, um, a lot of things that they do not want in a relationship. And again, I feel, I strongly feel here I don't know why every time I do readings this energy pops up but I feel like they will look at you and know that you are the right person to have children with in case you want children. There is something going on here with children. I don't know what this is about. I just feel like you guys are meant to have a specific child. I have a lot of readings and this energy comes up a lot but I feel like this child here is supposed to be born and they were not meant to have this child with the person that they have been with. It's a major cycle that is closing for your true love, for your soulmate here. Um, and they're currently overcoming a lot of obstacles. I also feel like they have been a little bit scared to end this relationship because they have been really used to this person. And it's almost like this person is overcoming a lot of obstacles right now with the strength card. They're overcoming a lot of obstacles. They're looking at a lot of things that they know are toxic in their own behavior, in the behavior of other people. They're actually looking at like all the toxic energy that is in their life. Like for example, what they do um, from day to day, even like if they smoke, they will look at it, oh, that's toxic or um, if they drink every weekend they will look at it or they will just also face like a lot of fears it doesn't even have to be something like that but also like a lot of fears that they have maybe like a fear of being alone or a fear of true commitment you know um, they're currently going through this energy where all their fears are coming up here everything is coming up for this person that they know that they have to change I'm also feeling this energy here that they have felt restricted in this relationship. So this relationship was a relationship where they didn't feel free. They felt like they have been, they felt like they always have to fear something like that they feared to have an argument with this person. Um, it's definitely an energy of like they didn't feel free in this relationship and that's why they ended that relationship here. But let's get a little bit more information about your um, future spouse, your true love and where they are at right now. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like they're scared to be alone or this could be that they have always been in a relationship and they never really were alone, but they know that they have to be alone for now to figure out who they are when they are not in a relationship here. 
because to me this looks like she's lonely and by herself so I'm feeling this energy here this person your your true love actually has a fear of ending up alone or a fear of they're just scared of being alone at the end of the day there's something that they're not comfortable with that another thing that i'm also seeing here is they're also overcoming a lot of obstacles when it comes to their finances and their career so i feel like um, this could be for example you have to take a risk to open up your own business you know and then you would face a lot of fears or um they recently they're thinking about like okay i make enough money in my job but i want to make more or i feel really really unhappy in my job so what do i do you know that it even gets them somewhat like depressed or not depressed but like they feel unfulfilled in their career i feel like even if they i feel like they do make a good amount of money but it's not something that truly fulfills them so now they're looking at all these things like i'm not feeling fulfilled with my career and this relationship also doesn't make me happy so everything is coming up for this person you know <laughs> yeah yeah okay you see i told you this person is very contemplative right now they're looking at their life i feel this energy here this is almost like a lot of self-reflection where they're looking at their life and every aspect of their life and they're like am i happy with that is this really what i want you know so i feel like this person spends a lot of alone time right now because they feel like they need it i feel like they have been in relationships a lot where they always had some somebody by their side and now it's finally time for them for them to be by themselves but at the same time <laughs> at the same time i also feel like there is a contradicting energy here because i feel like your person loves to be in relationships so this is the type of person that li actually likes to be in relationships they also enjoy for example um they enjoy flirting they enjoy um sweeping you off your feet they enjoy giving compliments they enjoy this whole energy of like getting to know somebody and the spark in the beginning they do enjoy that they crave that they want that you know but at the same time they also know that they have to be by themselves for right now because um they also have like a lot of duties a lot of things that they want to do when it only comes to them and their own happiness and not necessarily connected to a person that they are with um <laughs> i'm also feeling this energy here again i feel like they're looking for somebody that they can have children with so i feel like this person has a a strong desire to have children it's very important for them this could also be some like a cultural thing or something like that that they are in the age right now where they should have children but they don't because they didn't find you yet <laughs> in case um you guys want to have children if not then just uh leave it for somebody who wants to have children now what we're going to look at now is what spirit says you should focus on to get closer to your future spouse to your true love to your soulmate give me a second guys okay let's see what should my beautiful pie number one focus on right now to get closer to their future spouse let's see what should you focus on Oh, that's lovely. Let's get to more. Connect with your soul family. Mm, okay, 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 okay. I'm seeing the energy here. Let go and flow and we have create. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, first of all, what your spirit guides want you to know what you should focus on in order to get closer to your true love to meeting the one they actually want you to channel your creative energy and create something this could be your own candles your own jewelry your own little business or just a hobby or a side hustle they want you to focus on creating something where you can put your name on it like that's what i created you know 
that's definitely an energy here. I'm also feeling here, I want to show you the contrast between these two cards. This could also be that you are, I feel like you're still in the midst of finding the people that truly belong to you. Also when it comes to like relationships and acquaintances and stuff like that. Because I don't know who this is, but I feel like you are surrounded by people that are a little bit um, I don't want to say like they're naysayers they are a little bit pessimistic about life or they're just a little bit too much into drama into conflict or just very uh impulsive and raging and stuff like that um this could be at your workplace this could be your relatives this could be your friends and what i'm feeling here is if you can see that those people do not get along whatsoever and then here this is like complete harmony so what i'm feeling here is spirit is saying focus on connecting with people um, in a sense where for example putting yourself out there or actually going on an app to meet new friends something this energy of like connect with new people meet new people make new friends um also to create to create with people you know to go to i don't know gatherings where you can create like candles together like a course to, to make candles together this is the type of app that i'm picking up here or to go to a yoga class this is like going into the wide wide world and letting yourself be guided by your intuition and just see what comes your way you know because with the create and this almost looks like a course or like people that come together to create something to do something they could be meeting to do meditation they could be meeting to do yoga this could, this could also be like a cooking class you know as far as it's possible with the whole pandemic and stuff like that but other than that you can also do this online so i'm feeling here this is about like opening up yourself to more positive people to open yourself up more to people that have the same mind as you or the same interests as you do and then we have let go and flow so what i'm also feeling with that energy here what spirit says what you should focus on in order to get closer to your future spouse to your true love is definitely an energy of like letting the old things behind you even like old relationships and stuff like that to work a little bit more on like letting it in the past and to not bring up the past oh my relationship was so bad with this um with my ex you know this is almost this energy of like to not even talk about the past it's not about erasing it but it's more so like um exploring what you can what you can experience right now in this very moment rather than thinking about the past so it's almost this energy of like letting go of the past in a sense where you focus a little bit more on the present moment and what you can do now or to even make a list like a bucket list of the things that you want to do in the future rather than thinking about the past in case um, that resonates with you to th uh, that you think about the past and what happened when you were dating and stuff like that and also what i'm feeling here is to see the future with neutral eyes not to see the future with the eyes of the past where this and that happened and therefore you tell yourself it will also be like that in the future you know it's almost this energy of like doing new things or letting yourself walk different paths whatever that means to you um, and for that reason you also experience new things that shape your mind and that shape how you view the world in a very different light in a more positive light definitely here with the rainbow i'm feeling here with the flow card again it's almost this energy of like going with the flow less resistance to circumstances or it's this energy of like <laughs> um, let the universe surprise you by just you know going with the flow but also to be um, a little bit more creative about your day-to-day -day life to just to, to just change up the energy and also to change up your experiences or what you do experience from day to day from month to month by doing things that are absolutely bonkers that you've never done before do you know what i mean that's the type of vibe that i'm feeling here to bring a little bit more excitement into your life is something that i'm feeling here now <laughs> i want to look at what happens right before you guys meet 
what happens in your life, what happens in their life. And I'm going to do a continuation in a different video. <laughs> so let's see what happens right before you meet this person. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is right before you meet this person you will definitely I don't know why this keeps coming up with signing a contract signing a lease something with documents visa passport exams something with like paperwork here so right before you meet this person you will sign a contract here you might even be some of you guys you will start to write your own book or you start to write your own blog or you will you know create like a like you will create a book or write a book maybe you have been thinking about you know writing a book or doing like a book for a beautiful receipts receipts <laughs> do you say receipts recipes recipes yeah but it could also be something to do with like looking at your receipts i don't know <laughs> recipes like you want to do like a cooking book or you want to create a cooking book but i'm feeling here this is legal document so this could be signing a new lease for your new apartment this could also be about a visa passport um, signing a new contract when it comes to like your new work um, or to get your visa and your passport to go to relocate you know you would definitely sign some type of contract or some paperwork here um, right before you meet this person but it could also be that you will journal this could also be something about journaling that you are journaling right before you meet this person in a sense where you are going to write a very very long entry here in your um, journal because you received so many like it could also be like a day where you received so many synchronicities and signs that you have to write them down um, or you have like a lot of thoughts a lot of ideas that you need to write down it's the type of vibe that i'm feeling here i am also seeing here the energy that you will say no more i'm no longer doing this i don't know what this is but i'm feeling this energy out here of like you feel drained by something this could be you don't like the environment where you live you don't like your job um, you don't like your roommates you know or you don't want to live with your parents anymore there's an energy of like i'm not i'm no longer doing that because it's draining me it's making me feel bad and i you know it's almost like you're stepping up for yourself like i'm no longer doing that you're saying no to something like i have to change this shit is draining me i'm no longer doing that is something that i'm feeling here and we have the judgment card card what i'm feeling with that card is that is when the door opens for this person to come into your life it's almost like when this energy is happening in your life again i'm gonna do it i'm going to do a continuation because I don't know i feel i find it very interesting to to dive into that um but with this card here it almost feels like when you do that when you go through that energy here is when the door opens for this person to come into your life right because our door has to be open in order for them to enter right okay let's see what your true love is going to experience right before they meet you Mm -hmm. let's see okay okay i feel like they will either analyze i feel like right before you meet your your true love which i believe to be completely honest i don't feel like it's much longer until you meet them because with this card the justice card to me it feels like they are reflecting on why the relationship they have been in didn't work out so what i'm feeling here is it's not that long until you meet this person but they're reflecting on like what they don't want to relate in a relationship what they do want in a relationship here and they're also starting to have a little bit more hope um, in relationships because i feel like right after 
it's like a contradicting energy this person loves to be in a relationship but they don't want to be in a toxic relationship they don't want to be in a restrictive relationship they just want to be in a relationship where you can still be an individual and still be free you know so I feel like they will reflect on like other relationships that they have been with uh, in Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> tell me I don't like this energy because I do <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking so ten of pentacles and the chariot let me tell you this person is focusing on their money they're making bank they're making money they're putting money away their business is thriving they're getting like a salary raise their money is looking good looking really really good they might even buy a dog right before you guys meet because if they feel alone, <laughs> they might actually buy a dog instead of being in a, in a toxic relationship is something that I'm feeling here. And then we have the chariot here. Let's see, I wanna get one more card. It is, it, I love it. I'm definitely going to do a part two for that. Let's see, look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, and we have the Queen of Pentacles twice here, right? Okay, let me see, let me see. So, their career is absolutely bonkers. Before they meet you, their career will actually, they will thrive in their career. They will do big things in their career. Um, I'm actually seeing here that they go from having a very good or high paid job or being like the manager in a company or something like that or just making really really good money it's like their money they, they get more and more and more like they're making more and more and more money is something that i'm feeling here they're very focused on career as they are out of this relationship they're extremely focused on their career because they feel like they're not good they're not good at having relationships or relationships never work out and but what they do con what they can control is how they can make money so that's what they're focusing on here i just want to know what this chariot is about here the chariot card this is what i'm feeling here is look at that let me show that to you do you see that how this chariot is driving full force to this door? This is your energy. This is like your, your, your door. And I'm also feeling here with this judgment card, um, what is going to happen in your life is actually the universe is not just opening the door for this person to come into your life, but I feel like you will experience, you will either have like an extremely strong um, spiritual encounter, like something big is happening in a sense where you can feel the presence of the universe you can feel the presence of god um and i'm also feeling here i don't know it's like a, it's an extreme extremely strong energy actually i want to get a clarification card what is the judgment card here about what is my beautiful pie number one going to experience Ooh. okay mm. We have the two of pentacles you're finally making a decision here you're finally taking a leap of faith and i'm feeling here the universe is also giving you like two options um it's almost this energy here of like once you make this decision no longer i'm no longer doing that and you're taking the leap of faith the universe is actually rewarding you and it's like what i'm feeling here is there is a diff there is a specific path destined for you but it requires for you to walk a different path than you thought you would or than you planned. It's, it's more this energy here of like um, something will tell you I need to stop. I cannot go on like that. And you will make a decision to walk away from something or to start something new or to make this big change in your life, you know? And as you make this big change in your life with the judgment card here, with the two of pentacles, then a new door is opening and like new opportunities are coming your way. I don't know how to explain that. This could even be like, um, as you go to a different um, country, you will see that there's not just only one job offer, but all of a sudden you get several job offers or there are two 
apartments that are perfect for you do you know what i mean it's not just one but the universe is actually giving you like you will experience abundance is something that i'm feeling here like the universe will bring to you more than what you have asked for exactly i'm also feeling here that for some of you guys your vision board is actually coming true if you have a vision board here um for others of you i'm feeling here that if you want to sell your paintings i'm seeing here that two people will offer or two people want to buy your painting here if you are an artist and you sell your paintings um yeah i wanted to check the chariot here sorry guys i'm all over the place what is the chariot about let's see <laughs> look at me <laughs> Look at that energy. Oh my God. This is both of you already coming together. <laughs> I love it. Um, oh, do you know what I'm seeing here? No way. Oh my God. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is um, this person, your true love, they will see you first. So they will spot you. They will see you. They will either see you in the crowd um, somewhere in the public space on Instagram on TikTok, whatever they will see you and they will tell themselves like who is she who is he I want to get to know her they will look at your face and they cannot forget your face they will look at you and they will not they cannot forget your face and they want to know who you are they want to know who you are they want to know your name they will see you this could even be that you guys are meeting while traveling or you guys are meeting like in a train station or something like that airplane um, airport something along those lines doesn't have to be like that for some of you it will be like that but it's definitely this energy of like this person will look at you and be like who is she and they will feel like I know this person from somewhere because their subconscious mind right because you guys have been connected in past lives that's why they feel such a strong pull they will they will they will spot you somewhere and look at that that's your first conversation here and it's, it's going to be love at first sight but they will see you first mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Okay, my beautiful pie number one. I hope you like this reading. Let me know that in the comments if you liked it. Um, again, I'm also going to do a continuation. And yeah, that was a lovely reading. I didn't even know what I'm going to get into, but oh my God, I love it. I love it. Okay, um, I wish you a lovely day and I would love to see my next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number two. You chose the carnelian stone. Let's look at your cards. We are going to look at where you are at in your journey to meeting the one, meeting your true love, where they are at on their journey to meet you. <laughs> then we're looking at what, you're, what you should focus on to get closer to your future spouse, to your true love, and what is happening right before you guys meet. And I'm going to actually do a second part where we're going to dive a little bit deeper into what is going to happen before you guys meet so i already got some cards here let's look at it so my beautiful pie number two <laughs> very funny because we also have the two of pentacles here so this could be that you also have been seeing 222 two, two or 22 10, 22 a lot that the number two is very significant for you right now I am feeling here that you are also on a request to find out what your career path will look at or look like. <laughs> what your career path will look like. It's almost this energy of like you have a specific goal but you're flexible with your ways. It's almost this energy of like you know where you want to go but um, different paths lead to one destination in a sense where you might realize that there's not just one way to get where you want to get to when it comes to your career but there are also different ways to get there um, another thing that i'm feeling here is i'm also picking up this energy of like that you maybe have realized that you have to be a little bit more flexible with how you will get to where you want to get you know that it's not just one way but there's different 
um, that you will experience different things and this will also change your way your path but you will get to your destination either way you know that's the type of vibe that i'm feeling here another thing that i'm picking up here is that you guys are extremely um you guys are experiencing a very very busy time right now i don't know if it's because of work um, I feel like it is because of work, but you're definitely you feel exhausted right now. I Absolutely, you feel like you need a break. You feel exhausted. You feel exhausted from work so many responsibilities You could also be getting tired of your environments and you feel like you want to go on a vacation Or you just feel like you just want to go to a spa to just relax your mind I'm definitely feeling this energy here. You are right now. You're going through this energy of like almost feeling like you are burned out or you cannot continue the way you've been doing everything because you just feel like you need a break and you just um you just need some alone time some time for yourself and i'm also feeling here you could be realizing that something is wrong in an energy of like i don't feel good so what am i doing wrong or even if you are connected with somebody you're just looking at a situation and you're thinking to yourself what am i thinking about it and it's almost like something is wrong here feeling this energy like your your intuition is telling you there's something wrong here and i have to change something like something has to change because i don't feel good i feel stressed i mean yeah i do have like a lot of things to do and i'm capable of doing that but i also feel extremely drained at the end of the day so you're like i have to change something up i have to change my ways there has to be a change for my health that i feel good about myself again you know so this could also be that you're telling um your job or where you're at that you need some vacation or you're staying some days home so you're taking some days off of work from school or something like that canceling some appointments or some um, meetings or something like that because you really do feel like you need it's it, it feels like you need to be rejuvenated it's like you need to recharge your batteries something that i'm feeling here um where's your future spouse at or your true love i mean <laughs> they kind of feel the same because we have the ten of wands here and we have the ten of swords here something recently ended for this person i'm feeling this energy here that they have been what i'm actually picking up here is that they are giving up on dating right now they have been like dating or they have been maybe like in a situation in a relationship but i'm also seeing this energy here they have been like dating getting to know people and it never worked out and they're like you know i don't give a damn anymore i'm done with dating for now because they feel like they can be more um, successful when they are on their own so this is a person that is definitely focused on being successful in something they want to have a good bank account they want to be seen they want to be known for something this could also be somebody that is working on becoming famous or working on becoming um, to, to have like a very good and very established and successful business or something like that they're definitely working on their coins on their stability um, working on their reputation so what i'm feeling here is they recently just walked away they're like i'm done with dating or i'm done with the situationship that they, that i have been in because i feel like it's getting nowhere or i don't even feel like i'm ready for a relationship so they maybe recently ended a situationship with somebody um yeah let's see what else let's find out a little bit more so pile number two is true love where are they at what's going on with them mm. okay i feel like they recently they have i feel like they have a good connection with their mother and they recently um visited their mother what's going on with them where are they at oh the sun card and the six of swords okay let's see 
I am feeling this energy here that this person has been in a connection with somebody but they feel like that their happiness is somewhere else I don't know why but they feel like um, I feel like they have been with somebody here they have been in a connection with somebody but they chose to be single I don't know why maybe it has been a connection but maybe they have different um, wishes or something like that you know like when you are connected with somebody but there's still some things like you want to move to a different country and um, they want to stay or there could be different reasons for that but I'm feeling this energy here that this person is saying that um, they're actually looking for their happiness and their happiness has something to do with their success and also something to do with they want to be seen here and I don't know for some reason this situation ship relationship whatever that was I feel like it was a situation ship rather than a relationship here this could also be a friend that they 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 have been friends with somebody and the then they tried to date but it didn't work out something along those lines here yeah but they feel like their happiness is somewhere else rather than in this connection I don't know why um, but I feel like this person is like a free spirit they I feel this energy that this person feels like they want to accomplish like their success and they feel like they can only do it on their own is something that I'm picking up here you know and they also actually enjoy being single to be completely honest this could also be somebody who's like no I don't I want to be single first I would just want to have fun I want to you know do my own thing um, and I'm not necessarily ready for a relationship right now this person is definitely definitely they love to be single to be completely honest they love their freedom this is a very freedom loving person here now I want to look at what you should focus on in order to get closer to to your true love let's see what spirit is saying <laughs> I love that card okay let's see we have give yourself the best we also have see the light and ooh, well as if I didn't you <laughs> um, so first of all we have give yourself the best here what I'm feeling is here that you deserve more than what you are experiencing right now they want you to create the life of your wishes. Do you say it like that? <laughs> your dream life. With this energy, I'm just picking up here that spirit is saying, um, you're right, you feel drained because there is a better life waiting for you. I'm feeling this energy, there is a better job. This, there is a better apartment it's this energy of like you deserve the best you deserve the best you deserve everything that you ever wished for and it's almost this energy of like give yourself the credit like no I want to be paid the triple the amount I want to be paid triple the amount that I'm getting right now or I want to make more money or I want a more luxurious apartment you know so it's this energy of like I'm also feeling here the universe is saying that they want you to give yourself more credit because you are somebody who's like very talented you are a very I'm feeling here that you have so much potential inside of you and you have so many good qualities about yourself and your character is just very very beautiful and you're it's almost this energy of like you have the power to manifest something huge here because you have this endurance you have this willpower inside of you you know so what I'm feeling here is spirit is saying you can create such a crazy amazing life if you uh, channel your energy from one thing to another give yourself the best also the energy of like giving yourself the best when it comes to food or going to a spa you know or um, you know eating more fruits and vegetables because that's like the most healthiest the healthiest food that you could buy for yourself right so this talks about give yourself the best and also give yourself credit write um, entries in your book about how amazing you are because you are 
the universe and spirit is exactly telling you that i'm also feeling here they want you to dream a little bit more i'm feeling here they want you to um before you go to bed to just imagine and dream your dream life into reality also to dream a little bit more about your future spouse and what your dream re re relationship would look like and what your dream self would look like if who you would be um if everything was possible you know so this is the type of vibe here it's almost like the universe wants you to dream bigger and imagine even more beautiful things that you then you give yourself credit for or that you feel like are possible this has something to do with like when you go to bed to imagine more they want you to daydream and they want you to dream or to just like create beautiful stories in your mind through your imagination before you go to bed because that's how you actually manifest it and then we have step away from the crowd so for me this always talks about because <laughs> when i look at this card it reminds me of like eight o'clock at a train station where everybody is driving to their work <laughs> and then there's this one little somebody here who is like nah i'm not doing that anymore <laughs> so what i'm feeling here is a step away from the crowd means um to do things differently to do things your way to do things your way, to walk your own path, to do things your own way, to not listen to anybody's uh, opinion. I'm feeling here, you know best how to manifest and you know best what, like you know best what is the right thing for you. So what I'm feeling here is they want you to step away from the crowd or that's how you actually get closer to your um, true love. When you step away from the crowd, this could also be that you just change things, you know. For example, if everybody's outside having fun, you are at home creating your business. That would also be stepping away from the crowd or to, um, I don't know, to do things just differently, just out of the ordinary, you know, to go to a different country for three months, to work there that would also be stepping away from the crowd right whatever that means to you let's see what else the universe wants you to focus on so you get closer to your lovely lovely partner future spouse true love soulmate mm. Okay. Okay. What I'm feeling here is you have to be a little bit careful who you work for and who you work with. What I'm feeling here is there's something about you. You have a, a great potential here. There's something very special about you and people recognize it. And there are some people around you that are jealous or envious of you and you have to be careful who you work with here and also to um, stand firm and tell for example if you work for a company to tell them like no I can't work on Saturday this was not planned to you know step um, to step up this energy of like speaking your truth and being very firm with it because I feel like you're always giving to other people and you have to say stop that's my boundary you definitely have to do that this also this is specifically about who you work with or what you do for people that you don't forget to do things for yourself because you always do things for other people or you always um, take the extra shift because somebody's like sick or something like that right um, this energy of like look at the people around you and make sure that those people are genuine because um, I feel like there's somebody that is hmm, not so genuine <laughs> let's see what else what should you focus on to get closer also they want you to start a project here whatever that is start a project today start it today <laughs> or think about what you want to start this could be a 30-day challenge this could be working out uh, for three months and seeing your transformation this has something to do with like make a plan to work on something you know and to check in with how much progress you have made one more card here 
Yeah, you need more exactly, exactly, because there is there are some people that treat you that don't treat you um, in a fair way. There's some unbalance here, and spirit is saying like you have to stand firm and say, speak your truth and say this is not okay. I'm like. I can't, you know, this was not planned. I need some vacation. I need some time off to stand really firm. Like, or I had late shift for the last three weeks. I would like to have early shift, you know, or to tell your roommates, hey guys, can you be quiet because I need to study just for two hours, please. You know, that type of vibe here to speak your truth, to get your balance back here. Um, I'm also feeling here the energy of like pay attention to the signs because spirit is sending a lot to you. There's there's a spirit around you, a very very strong spirit here. And I'm feeling here pay attention to the signs that you receive in a sense where um what I'm feeling here is with the Four of Swords, I'm feeling this energy that you need a little bit more quiet time where you can reflect on the things that happen in your life, but also on the signs that you get. Because I feel like sometimes you are so busy and overworked that you overlook signs or that you don't even recognize them or that you don't even recognize like... Um, when spirit is talking to you. So that's why you need a little bit quiet time, some meditation time, going to a spa, relaxing your mind, getting a massage, whatever that is, is definitely going to be extremely beneficial for you. Now let's get to the juicy, <laughs> to the juicy story here. Um, what is going to happen in your life right before you, were, uh, right before you meet your true love? Let's see. Ace of Wands. Why is this card coming out again? Same as Pi One. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You are manifesting, girl. Hold on. Stop the overthinking here. The card just dropped. Yeah. Stop the overthinking and take action. It's like you have been thinking about should I, should I do it like this? Should I do it like that? Just don't think about it at all. Do what feels better and just get, um, get it going. Get the ball rolling. Okay, what is happening right before you meet this person? First of all, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like I'm feeling here that you will start something new, like a new project, the passion project. You will receive a huge inspiration to start something and then you will do your research about it. I don't know what this is. This could be literally anything like, oh, I want to uh, invest in Bitcoin. I want to invest in stock market or I want to find out how you, I don't know, become a photographer or I want to find out how you can travel the world with little money you know that type of vibe and then you are starting to research so right before you meet your true love you will get a huge inspiration to start something it will spark a strong interest in you and then you will start your research you will look at, lo at a lot of articles so other people do that you will learn a lot about how to make it happen with the magician here you will i feel also feel like you will read a lot of books or you will attend webinars um, or you will watch a lot of like videos about how to manifest that um, you would definitely be this in this energy of like I'm researching stuff like I'm gonna make this happen because if I'm, I feel so inspired and now I want to make this happen and I'm gonna put my everything into it is something that I'm feeling here you're definitely manifesting your dreams here so right before you meet your true love you're definitely here manifesting your dreams I also feel like your manifestation will come it's just vi the vibe that I'm feeling here is that you will see how everything is manifesting step by step, step by step, everything is manifesting and you will look at everything that has manifested that you 
wrote down in your journal you know everything that you imagined when you before you went to bed is manifesting and you would just look at it like all the rewards like you, i feel like you will manifest some type of like very rewarding future for yourself where you're like oh i achieved this i achieved that and i achieved this and i achieved that you know it's almost like trophies here i'm also feeling here right before you meet your right before you meet your true love i also feel like you will be at some type of family gathering you might also babysit your niece your nephew you will be at your sister's house at your mom's house it's like a family gathering this could also be christmas season to be completely honest or thanksgiving or something like that like a family gathering where people are eating or it could also be like a birthday of somebody but it's definitely an energy of like your family is around you right before you meet your true love this could literally be on that day you are at a family gathering and then you meet this person you know somewhere um yeah let's see what is happening in their life right before they meet you i also feel like you would do kind of like a spring cleaning or you would clean everything in your room before you meet this person let's see what is happening in pie number two? Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Look at me. Okay, let me show you the card. Look at that. Um I'm gonna get to it in a second, but I'm extremely excited right now. Let's see. High Priestess. Let's see. What is happening in their life right before they meet you? Oh my goodness gracious, okay. What I'm feeling here is um, this could actually be that you meet I feel like somebody will introduce you to your true love this could be somebody from your family this could also be like it's it's somebody that you are connected with this could be your family this could be your friends somebody is introducing you to to each other there's like this this person here that you see in the middle is like hey this is your name and this is your true love's name and like let's you know you, now you know each other so i'm feeling here you will meet this person through some type of acquaintance some type of friend a relative something like that you will get introduced or this person your true love will get introduced to you do you see that energy here i'm also feeling here they're going to be extremely fast with bringing you to their family I don't know what this is. This could even be, for example, um, you guys go to the same restaurant. Uh, your true love is there with their family in the restaurant eating and you are there with your family eating, right? Um, and then you guys cross each other's path. At the same time, you see their family and they see your family. Do you know that's the type of vibe that I'm picking up here? What's going on here? That is crazy. That's a crazy energy here. To be honest, this could also be somebody that has a crush on or had a crush on you for a very long time. So somebody maybe in your surroundings. I don't know what this is. That's definitely an energy here of like this person I feel like maybe in the beginning they're just friendly and you don't even know that they have a crush on you but you feel the energy between the two of you but they're like because with the high priestess they're secretive about it you know there's there's some type of like mystery i'm also feeling spirit is saying i should not reveal everything because with the high priestess i always feel like there's some there's going to be some type of mystery between the two of you and the very interesting thing here is with the eight of wands you can see a unicorn here and a unicorn is very rare so the way that you guys meet will be very rare and very weird and very different because look at me i'm like what the heck is going on here you know <laughs> um 
yeah so i'm feeling here i don't know this could also be that you have like your best friend is following this person on instagram and then you're like hey do you know that person or the other way around they're going to uh, write your friend about you i don't know i really don't know with the eight of wands here what is happening right before they meet you i'm feeling this energy here um let me see I also feel like this could be some type of invitation here with the three of cups the three of cups is always about like getting invited like with your friends some type of gathering i feel like you guys will meet at a gathering here i feel like you will meet at the gathering this person will look at you from the back they might even like ask somebody about you and you don't even know about it because we have the high priest here this is a secret they have like a secret crush on you and then you guys are at some type of gathering here and then they will come to you and introduce you to them <laughs> wow i don't know and look at the moon here what i'm specifically seeing here is um, that you guys will meet at a gathering that is in the evening this could be a birthday this could be i don't know what it is a festival where there are a lot of people here but overall i'm feeling this energy here what is happening right before they meet you but you know the interesting thing is right before they meet you and they're already here with you is this somebody that you already know is this somebody that you already know and there has been no contact and then they get back to it and then they send you a message here telling you that they want to be in a relationship with you this could be another thing right maybe you already know this person here that's why we also have the six of cups here some of you guys you are already with this person and there has been a fallout you guys separated there was no contact they knew that they love you but there was no contact and they felt like they have to go elsewhere they have to accomplish something here that would make sense so for some of you if you already are in some type of romantic situation it's going to be very different for all of you because for some of you guys you will meet this person in the future then you will have a fallout and then you guys come back together for some of you guys you already are with the person you have a fallout and you guys come back together and for others of you it's a completely new person here because the only thing that i want to show you before i'm going if you look at this card here do you see that somebody's in the tower here so this person is walking and there's also another person in the tower it's almost like you guys are so near to each other no matter if you already know this person or not you guys are already like in your maybe this person already lives in your city in your neighborhood there's something about you meeting in a very very unique way that almost feels like what the heck is going on <laughs> um yeah but i'm actually going to do a continuation or i plan to do a continuation about what is going to happen right be before you guys meet each other um yeah but let me know if you like the video that was very interesting i hope you liked it and i'm going to see my next one i wish you a lovely day bye hello my beautiful pie number three it's just this hold on it's just this beautiful crystal here let's look at um where you are at on your journey where your future spouse is at or your true love is at on their journey then i wanted to look uh, then i want to look at what you can do to get closer to your future spouse to you know to get closer to meeting them or what you have to do what you have to focus on before you meet them and then we're looking at what is happening in your life and in their life before you guys meet now let's get into it um guys i feel like you are in a very good spot in your life right now what i'm feeling here is you are somebody that practices gratitude like you um, appreciate everything that you have like your favorite food or your bed or there's something like i'm feeling this energy here that you feel happy with what you have which is a very very lovely vibe here i'm just feeling this energy of like of course one can always have more but you really appreciate everything that you have is something that i'm feeling here you have a very grateful heart and for that reason i'm feeling this energy here that you attract a lot of blessings to you or this will come to you in the future um, if you have not yet 
um, I'm feeling guys what I'm feeling here is that there's something about you that is very pure and spirit sees that and I feel this energy here everything that you've done for other people is coming back to you it's almost like you have good karma or the universe sees how pure you are and how grateful you are for everything that they do for you and for that reason they're actually they're actually bringing something to you that is going to make you really really happy is something that I'm feeling here um, I'm also picking up this energy here that you are in a very peaceful place right now so you feel very peaceful you take your time to feel peaceful you take your time to do rituals you take your time to heal um, you take your time to go to a spa to do some aromatherapy you are really at a you know how to take care of yourself is something that I'm feeling here you know how to take care of yourself you know how to calm your mind um, I, I just feel like you're overall really really happy and again it's not like you have the world but it's like you're just happy with what you have and for that reason you're attracting even more success and even more beautiful things into your life I'm also feeling here that you recently gave a gift to somebody something that I'm feeling here and again I'm just feeling the strong energy that the universe is saying that they want to bless you with this person that is coming into your life or is already in your life we're gonna look at that in a second but it's almost like spirit is ready to give you some type of blessing something that I'm feeling here but I'm also seeing here some of you guys you recently gave a gift to somebody or you recently um, you were recently borrowing money to somebody or yeah borrowing money or some type of like you get you recently gave something to somebody like here you can take it I don't need it anymore or it was literally like a gift or something like that I'm also seeing here that a lot of you guys you um some of you guys you work in a kindergarten or you work with children something that I'm feeling here or you babysit or you went to like your family to a garden party here um, being with children being with your niece and nephew and stuff like that but overall what I'm feeling here is you are actually manifesting everything good like a beautiful connection a successful connection in a sense where you know the connection becomes a relationship becomes a marriage you know um, you're manifesting all type of success here if you're not if you're not already seeing that it's coming your way pretty soon here and you I, I don't I don't even feel like you see it coming because your eyes are closed here it's coming your way some type of success is coming your way guys we also have the cards here 44 and 66 that's interesting there's some type of like you're very balanced there's something about you that is attracting beautiful energy to you you're man you're literally manifesting success and you're manifesting that true love to come to you for that reason you manifest them faster like you will meet them of course there's always this energy of like divine timing but I'm feeling here like it's not long until you meet this person because you are already in such a lovely vibration and uh, that you have such a lovely energy around you already so for that reason I feel like um, it will not take long until you meet this person now your future spouse your true love what they are going through right now um, I'm feeling here <laughs> sorry that I'm laughing but I'm feeling here that your future spouse is getting contacted by their spirit guides in a very like <laughs> you know that the light is flickering and <laughs> I don't know weird things are happening it's like they're stubborn but at the same time it's like let me show the current to you guys they're getting contacted <laughs> I don't know I feel like they're getting contacted by their spirit guides right now so there's a lot of weird things happening around them and I'm feeling this energy here that they're stubborn they're like I don't want to believe in it but it's literally in front of them so they get maybe like a lot of synchronicities and they're like this is not normal but at the same time <laughs> they don't want to look at it it's really funny do you see that they're like I'm not looking at it like I don't even see it I don't I didn't see what just happened um, but what I'm feeling here is um, as well is that 
both of you are manifesting each other if you don't already have somebody because i feel like for some of you guys you are already connected to somebody and this person If you are still connect if you are connected to somebody because it's a general reading it's very individual to each and one of you um, for some of you guys if you are already connected to somebody I'm feeling here that if this is the person that you are meant to be with you know which I'm gonna leave a question mark because the universe is full of surprises and it's either a yes or it's a no um, and this is not the question today um, but what I'm feeling here is that the universe is actually contacting this person this person is experiencing a lot of synchronicity so many things remind them of you to the point where they are starting to open up to the possibility of that you are the one it's almost this energy of like they already know but they're too stubborn it's almost like they want they don't want to believe in magic they don't want to believe in spirit they don't want to believe in um true love even but you are right in front of them do you know what i mean so this is going to resonate for some of you guys um, and they're actually getting contacted by their spirit guides like hey open up your heart you know open open up your heart to this person and tell them how you feel you know um, and you're just chilling waiting here for this person to open up <laughs> so um, this could resonate for some of you guys um, for others of you i'm just feeling this energy here that this person is dreaming you into reality so um they're longing for it they're definitely their heart is like in their heart they feel like i'm longing for my true love they're wishing for this person is a very they wish for their true love your future spouse the person that you're meant to be with they're actually like somebody that wishes like i hope i hope i meet somebody that is my true love i wish for my true love to come to me you know um but that's something that they do when they are by themselves and when they lay in bed and nobody sees them because um if you if you would look at this person you don't even you would never think that this person lays in bed and wishes for true love to come to them because they are very handsome here and they probably can seduce everybody but they're actually longing for a true connection they're actually longing for their true love and they haven't found this person yet because this person is you you know so they're dreaming you into reality they're dreaming of what what you will look like and they're just dreaming of like some type of like oh what would it feel like to be so in love with a person you know something that i'm feeling here overall i'm feeling this energy here that this person is like they finally want to get to know you they even get a little bit impatient like even for example if they are not spiritual they might be religious and then they will pray and say like i finally want to meet my future spouse i want to meet my true love when is this person coming is something that i'm picking up here so they're getting a little bit impatient here okay guys now i want to look at what spirit is saying you should focus on to manifest this person but i'm already feeling that you you are already manifesting them so this is just going to be like additional messages but I, I i already feel like hold on i already feel like you're doing a great job at manifesting this person here let's see spirit what can pie number three do Oh, to, <laughs> to manifest their true love. Let's see. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I have to laugh all the time here. Okay, it says don't sweat the small stuff. So what Spirit is saying is don't get too caught up in like small details or don't they don't want you to worry about small stuff here because you're manifesting beautiful things you know maybe you're worried about the timing when your manifestation is coming or maybe you are worried about um when you will have more money or maybe you are worried worried about it's like a spirit is saying don't worry find a way to calm your mind don't worry be happy don't worry be happy now i think i want to listen to that song today it's been a while 
since I listened to that song. I feel like I want to do that. Yeah, so it says don't sm don't sweat the small stuff here. Don't get too caught up in like how will it manifest and when will it manifest and when will I be the timing and stuff like that, you know? Like they they want you to be stay in your calm spirit. Don't let nobody get you out of your zen mode, you know? Then we have rebel here. <laughs> Um, what I'm feeling here is Spirit is saying it's okay for you to do things that are out of the box. So what I'm feeling here is it's almost this energy of like be a little bit more rebellious. Um, create adventures in your life by just being a little bit more rebellious, you know, to do things that are unusual, even with your outer appearance or to go on a trip that you've never been to, you know. Um, we also have here connect with your soul family as well. The more love you feel, the it's like the more love you feel and the more love you give to your family, to the people around you, even to strangers, the, the, the faster you manifest this person because you already vibrate on a love frequency. And then of course, it's very easy for true love to come your way, right? And then we have be courageous. So what I'm feeling here is you might also be somebody you are very comfortable where you are at, but I'm feeling here this energy, it's time for a ne uh, for the next level here. It's time for you to get out of your comfort zone and do something crazy, something wild, where, where you're looking back at your life and you're like, wow, these were like wild and crazy times that I really did that, you know, to take a risk on something. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to focus on to manifest or to get closer to your true love. Yeah, you see, as if we didn't know. Um, you're ready for the next chapter in your life, the next level. It's an unknown territory, something completely new. It's almost like you need to explore something new, a new environment, to be exposed to something that you don't know in order for you to grow. It's this energy here. You have been in a very like, maybe you also have been... I'm just feeling here you are extremely peaceful and Spirit is saying it's time for the river to be a little bit wild, you know? It's time for you to go somewhere where you have never been before because this will... Um, it's time for an adventure is basically what I'm feeling here, to keep it short and simple. <laughs> um, let's see, now I want to look at what is going to happen in your life and in your person's life before you guys meet each other. So what is happening in your life before you meet this person? Seven of Swords. Nine of Wands. What is going to happen in your life right before you meet this person? Okay. Ace of Swords. Wheel of Fortune and the Death card. Ooh. Okay, um, I feel like right before you meet this person, you will find out the truth about a situation. So I feel this energy here, you, you will find out about a lie. This does not necessarily have to be a lie that somebody is telling you, but this could also be, um, for example, a lie that is some that somebody is saying, Okay, let me explain it. So the lie could also be a thought that you have in your mind where you thought it's the truth, but it is not. Or a belief system that you thought is true, but it is not. This could also be something about like, for example, society, you know, finding out that something is toxic or it's an energy of like finding out the truth of a situation here. You will see this is the lie and this is the truth whatever that means. This could also be about a friend that is a foe. This could be about, you know, somebody gossiping about you in a company. This could be about somebody that you're dating and they're not honest or you're catching them in a lie. This could be literally anything, but right before you meet your true love, you will find out what you need to know. It's almost this energy of like, you need to know about the lie and you need to know about the truth of the situation. Um, 
I'm also seeing here there is a major shift happening in your life right before you meet this person. I feel this energy here that you will go through some type of ending here. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like this could also be about you could you you are completing a um, project, but it could also be I'm feeling this energy of like with the nine of wands. The nine of wands is usually somebody that went that went to war that is like burned out and um, just feels drained from all the fighting that they had to do. But with here with the nine of wands, it almost feels like maybe you have been working on something and then you find out that it is not for you. For example, you chose this career path and find out I don't live in my truth. This is not me, you know, or you live in a country and you feel like I don't feel at home here. This is not my home, you know, um, it's definitely an energy of like looking at a situation and understanding what the truth about it is you know and then there is going to be like a major shift where you decide to end something you would decide to end a situation to end a job um, just to end your old ways and do things in a very completely and new and very different way is something that i'm feeling here this could also be about somebody toxic leaving your life right before you meet this person and you're going to be very very focused on your projects here um, right before you meet your true love let's see i just want to get one more card here yeah look at that <laughs> I feel like you're a very very chill person to be honest you're always calm you're always chilling nobody can like disturb you queen of cups i really feel like you're going to complete something here with the nine of wands it's almost like i've done the work now i'm chilling here what is that about the nine of wands as well as the death card could also be about a transformation when it comes to your appearance um, this could be about like losing weight gaining weight transforming your body in the gym getting muscles and then you're just chilling because you completed something. It's almost like you're finding peace in a situation because you find out the truth about yourself, about um, a situation, about a decision that you should make, right? And the wheel is spinning here. This could also be that you're, you are actually leaving something behind, ghosting somebody, leaving a job, Huh? you see <laughs> um, now let's look at your future spouse your true love what is happening right before they meet you in their life let's see oh okay what is happening right before they meet you What is happening in their life right before they meet you? Let's see. Okay. I'm seeing here that this person, um, what I'm feeling here is this person, I feel like they are, it feels like they're definitely going, going to be in some type of crowd. With a lot of people right before they meet you it has something to do with career this could be like a gathering at their company that they are at some type of like meeting a gathering a party at their company or where they are working at i'm also seeing here some uh, of you guys this person will have to present something to somebody this could even be in an energy of like they have their own products and they pre uh, present their own products they're also building their own website here is something that i'm seeing they're definitely career focused here it's the third pile in all of your true loves out there they're very career focused here they want to make coins i mean who doesn't right mm, yeah they're focusing on creating a product 
presenting a product to somebody, getting clients. This could also be that they're getting a lot of orders or a lot of people are interested in working with them. Let's see what else is happening right before your future spouse meets you. Four of Pentacles, yeah, they have a vision. They have a huge vision for their future. They could even be somebody who invents something that has never been on planet Earth before. Let's see. They don't even think about dating, to be honest. What is that about? We also have a Seven of Swords here. Look at that. Okay. I'm feeling here. Isn't that interesting that both of you have the Seven of Swords here? It's almost like you are finding out a huge lie. Or finding out something like you're finding out what is the truth, what is the lie. The same with this person. I feel like they have been dealing with somebody here and this person also hasn't been truthful to them. So they're going through the same thing as you. They're finding out the truth about a situation here. What is the Seven of Swords about? I need to know. What is the Seven of Swords about? Mm, you see, somebody seduced them. Somebody was not honest with them. This could even be that they have not been really honest with another person. It doesn't even have to be that they get. It's like, so what I'm feeling here is if they are somebody that has not been honest with other people, I am feeling here that this person feels like I have to mature. I have to, it, it, they will go through a transformation where they feel like I would rather not date because I have to become more mature and I have to become more truthful. So what I'm feeling here is they're leaving their old ways behind. They're leaving their old ways behind to become a better version. And that's why they're saying like, I would rather not date because every time I date somebody, I give them false hope, you know? So this could be that they have been seducing somebody or um, they have been sedu seduced by somebody and this person has not been honest. This could go both ways. The interesting thing here is we have the King and the Queen of Wands. So what I'm feeling here is, and we have the Queen of Swords. So it's, do you guys, okay, I'm seeing it. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm seeing here is there is somebody in this person's life that was eyeing them for a very long time. This person wants your true love, but your true love is not interested. So this person is going to try to manipulate this person into liking them, but they're not interested. They're so focused on something else. And they also know that you are the perfect match here. This person could actually also be a topic, even if you guys meet, this could be even like a friend that they have, you know? Maybe it's a friend that they have that is around them, you know, from childhood or something like that, but they will see that you are the one. This person knows that you are the one, absolutely. Like nobody, like nobody can seduce them into not being with you. There's no way whatsoever. They're completely, their heart is closed off. Their heart is closed until they meet you. That's when their heart is melting. That's when their heart is opening. So it's almost like this person will only open up their heart to you. <laughs> okay, beautiful pie number three. I hope you like this reading. Let me know down in the comments if you liked it and I would love to see my next one. I wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hello, my loves. Hello, my beautiful pie number four. You chose this beautiful crystal here. It always reminds me of snow. I also think it's called like a snow crystal something something. I feel like it's called. <laughs> um, right, let's see. So what we're going to look at is where are you at on your journey to meeting your true love? Where is your true love at when it comes to meeting you? Then we're also going to look at what you can or what you should focus on to get closer to your true love and what is going to happen in your life and in their life before you guys meet. So let's see, where are you at on your journey? Two of Swords, trying to make a decision here. You're thinking about something. You're looking at a situation and you're not sure what to think of it. You're like, I don't know what to think about it. I don't know what to do with it. What is going on here? Oh, okay. 
This could be that you are currently in a relationship here and you are not sure if this is truly the person for you or you are currently with somebody and you're asking yourself is this person the one or is this person not the one let's see where your true love is at right now i'm just feeling this energy here so for some of you guys you are already already in a connection here and you're trying to figure out is this person truly for me or is this person not for me you know is this really like the real deal here overall i'm feeling this energy here that you're really like you're self-reflecting right now you're looking at a situation and you're thinking to yourself am i happy in this situation or am i not is something that i'm feeling here if you are connected with somebody is this something that i want long term do i really want to make something stable out of that do i really want to marry this person or do i not um, for others of you if you're not connecting with anybody which i think most of you are connecting with somebody i'm feeling this energy here that it almost feels like you're doubting if you will ever meet your true love if there's somebody out there for you or if you will it feels like will i end up alone by myself or will i be with somebody and guys you will be with somebody don't worry about that okay it's just like the negative voice in your mind it's not the truth that you will not meet, meet anybody absolutely not let's see what your true love where they are at in their journey when it comes to meeting you oh they have the same energy as you they're also trying to make a decision about something so you guys mirror each other let's see i feel like this person is resting a lot i feel like this person is resting a lot right now oh okay okay these are a lot of cards give me a second guys so let's look at you first so what I'm feeling here is you are looking at a situation. You're looking at love matters and you're asking yourself, what is this? How do I feel about it? And what is my decision when it comes to that person? For others of you, it's just in general that you are in a situation right, right now where you have to make a decision and you're trying to figure out it's almost like something is bothering you and you're trying to figure out why and what to do about it and for others of you you're just a little bit scared to make a decision here or you're like looking at yourself and you feel like you're getting older and you have and you still haven't found the person of your dreams and stuff like that and you're just getting like a little bit um you're a little bit in your head because you don't you don't know when you will meet this person and this makes you a little bit anxious you you feel like i'm getting older i finally want to meet this person here you know it's something that i'm feeling here again this feels like maybe you also see how other people are in a relationship how other people are planning their wedding and you're like when is my time you know so it's like i feel like you are a little bit um salty about it like a little bit like when is my time to be with somebody you know i see other people all the time marrying and like i'm still here waiting for this person you know so good that you are here because we're gonna talk about it <laughs> um now this person over here i feel like they are in the same vibration as you this person is um trying to make a decision here i feel like they're trying to um this person is aware of like i have to be calm to make the right decision but they're trying to make the right decision also when it comes to a relationship so this could be that you are mirroring each other that you are trying to make a decision this person's trying to make a decision and you guys are actually meant for each other but there's still some type of things that make both of you uncertain or you don't know this person they don't know you yet and they're going through the same thing as you where you are with somebody and you're not sure about it and they're with somebody and they're not sure about it you know um, i'm also feeling this energy here again it's like what i'm feeling here is your true love is just mirroring the same energy as you they are a little bit more optimistic about it they're thinking like um i don't know they're also trying to make a decision here is this the right person for me is this the person the end all be all you know if they are with somebody here 
<laughs> so it's like a whole mixture because I, I know a lot of you guys are watching and for some of you you already are with this person for others of you you are with a person that is not meant for you they are with a person that is not meant for them so it's like very it's a lot of energy here guys so bear with me um I'm feeling here this person is finally uh, currently going through an energy of like they want to manifest their dreams they want to also manifest some type of wealth here with the Jupiter card they're definitely somebody that wants to live like the high life they want to overcome their fears and manifest their biggest and wildest dreams and they just believe in like if you are on planet earth might as well you know um manifest the most beautiful life that you can possibly live so they're definitely a dreamer they're all about like manifesting their success manifesting you know their end all be all like their happy happily ever after so they do think about their happily ever after they think a lot about like um it's this energy of like does true love exist or does it not does love at first sight exist or does it not? That's the type of vibe that I'm picking up here. So they're contemplating a lot when it comes to like relationships and stuff like that. Now I want to look at what you should focus on in order to manifest this person into your life or to get closer to them. Ooh, interesting. Decide the outcome. You are safe. Wow, this is really about you making a decision here, huh? I don't know. We have call your spirit home. Oh, this is a lot. Okay, I'm gonna take it all. Why not? Okay. Okay, for some of you guys, this also talks about finding a new apartment. Um, so if you have been feeling like you want to find a new apartment, you want to change your apartment, the universe is definitely encouraging you to look for a new apartment. It's time for you. To move somewhere else I'm also feeling here decide the outcome so this the type of vibe that I'm picking up here is you guys have to make a decision here definitely you know um, if you are with somebody and you're not sure about it for whatever reason if you want to stay with them or not for others of you um, I'm feeling here with the two of swords it's almost this energy of like you write your own story so you decide if you will meet your or if you will manifest this experience of meeting your true love and your future spouse it's almost this energy that spirit is saying you are the author of the book and they want you to start um, scripting if you feel like it gives you more excuse me more hope or it makes you feel connected to your future spouse they would recommend for you to this could even be like, I feel this energy of like become a little bit more optimistic about your love life in a sense where watch love movies, read romance novels or just dream about them or script how you want your future spouse to be like, um, to be a little bit more connected to them. The energy that I'm picking up here is like you decide what you're going to... <laughs> okay let me see so i just saw here that it almost looks like a servant here right and I, I saw a video like years ago where somebody said um if you want something from the universe you have to order it <laughs> in the sense where maybe some of you guys just recently ordered something or you have been um, at a restaurant recently well um and they said that you have to order it at um you have to order it from the universe so you have to say this and that is what i want this and that is what i want to write it down and when you write it down and you're like fixed like i want true love so that's what i'm gonna get you know it's like you decide you decide when you say i'm taking nothing like i want love at first sight if you decide that and you send that vibration out to the universe, it's exactly what is coming your way. That's the type of vibe that I'm feeling. It's like you have more power than you think when it comes to what kind of experiences you will have, you know, by just ordering from the universe what you want, you know, and to not think about the timing, but to just focus on other stuff. Um, could also be like preparing your new home, 
uh, manifesting your new home something about interior design or something like that or making a vision a vision board about your future home um, just to focus on other stuff to just prepare yourself um, for this relationship whatever that means to you you know instead of just looking at when they will come just prepare yourself for this beautiful ride <laughs> with that person um, let's see what else you should focus on what else should you focus on let's see four of pentacles i just heard the song i just heard the song smile for me i don't even know what the song is and probably smile for me the universe wants you to smile a little bit more to just be a little bit more like to have more i know it's so cliche but it's this energy of like to really be more happy about what you have to just celebrate everything that you have because if you do that it's like <clears throat> find more reasons to laugh which could be watch comedy movies or do something that ma just makes you laugh a little bit more like childlike a little bit more relaxed a little bit more free just dance goofy <laughs> Or, you know, just go out with your friends and do some goofy stuff just to laugh a little bit more, you know, something that I'm feeling here. What should you focus on? Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like you have to do something about your mental health. Something that I'm feeling here. Your mental health is extremely important. <clears throat> They are, your spirit spirit guides are also saying don't worry too much about love is something that I'm feeling here because I feel like you are very worried either about a relationship that you are in right now or about your true love or just in general like all this energy of like love matters um, it's this energy of like there's something beautiful waiting for you but you cannot see it because you're all stuck in your head so what spirit is saying is you need a clear mind here you need to do something for your mental health is something that i'm picking up here you need to heal your mind because your mind can be very negative at some points which is not even the reality here you know so it's this energy of like um to free yourself from your negative thoughts you know um to really take it seriously because it's like this is what is hidden from you it's like in the birds that i'm seeing here is spirit is saying that <laughs> their spirit guides and your spirit guides are actually connected they're working together to bring you guys together you, you know now i want to look at what is going to happen in your life right before you meet this person let's see what is happening in your life right before you meet this person? I feel like you will face... Mm, okay. I feel like you will face your... Hmm. Let's see. What is happening right before you meet this person? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I love that. Um, you're walking away from feeling miserable you're walking away from feeling miserable from feeling stuck and also from your fear so you're actually overcoming a lot of things you're overcoming heartache you're overcoming fears and I'm feeling this energy here that the magician card is all about manifesting so I feel like you will find a way to manifest your way out of that energy where you feel sad and lost and stuff like that i feel like you will come across a lot of like books podcasts um the universe is also recommending that to you um overall i'm feeling this energy here that you're actually becoming extremely happy only by being your uh, by only being with yourself so it's almost this energy before you meet this person 
I'm feeling here that you will become extremely confident because you will change something in your life. You will actually make a dream come true that is only a dream when it comes to you. It has nothing to do with other people. It's a dream that you always had and you will accomplish something that you are really, really, really proud of. I don't know what this is. You will manifest something for yourself here. It's like from what I'm feeling here is you will it's very lovely so guys there's a beautiful future ahead for you but what I'm feeling here is from crying about somebody or something it's like you will from crying tears out of sadness you will cry tears out of happiness is something that I'm feeling that's how huge the transformation will be for you because you see that your manifest manifestations are actually coming to life is something that I'm feeling here and I also feel like that um, right before you meet this person there will be a lot of people interested in you so you will see a lot of people that are interested in you you will attract a lot of people that want to date you and stuff like that it will feel very like abnormal like how many people approach you. it's like oh my god why are so many people approaching me like um, several months ago there was nobody looking at me now everybody's coming my way it's going to feel very awkward for you um, that's the type of vibe that I'm feeling here let's see what is happening for your future spouse right before you guys meet let's see what's happening for them I feel like right before you guys meet, they're um, exploring a city. I heard Barcelona, but it doesn't have to be Barcelona, but I just heard it. So they could be Spanish or they could speak Spanish. Or you are from Spain <laughs> um, or you speak Spanish. Um, what I'm feeling here right before this person meets you they are very very busy here I feel like they are traveling I feel like they are discovering a city they could also it could also be that they recently moved to your city so they're new in your city and they're just exploring everything something that I'm seeing here what is happening right before they meet you um, yeah, I'm feeling they're very busy with something here. Very busy with exploring, very busy. This person's always on the go. They're always out and about, always on the go. Oh, okay, interesting. Uh -huh. So right before they meet you, they're leaving something extremely conflicting. I don't know, this could be a living situation, this could be a relationship. Yeah, I feel like it's a living situation. I, I actually feel like this person is going to move to your city, to your country here. For some of you. Um, I feel like this person, right before this person meets you, they will feel like my life is freaking boring. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm not happy with this situation. I'm not happy with this job. With my living situation, I have to do something about it. They feel conflicted about the people that are around them. You see, there's a lot of like conflict around them. Maybe they also have like a lot of roommates and they're always loud and they're like, no, they're going to make a decision from one day to another. No, I'm going to move to a different city or like, I'm, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that, that they're actually moving to a different city and that's when they meet you or they're actually going for a vacation to just get their mind off of um, the whole situation here. I just want to get one more card. What is going to happen right before? They're like, I'm not, I'm not staying here. This person is all about fun, but what they are experiencing is conflict, conflict and like boredom, you know? see what is happening right before they meet you seven of pentacles ten of wands and ooh, wow they're making their dreams come true here with the star card this person's making their dreams come true <gasps> wow crazy i feel like this person your true love is actually becoming famous or something here. 
I don't know, it's almost like they're making their way out of misery. Like, it's the same vibe. From, from your perspective, it's more like emotionally that you will heal and become such a strong, you will become such a fulfilled person. Like, things are manifesting in your life. With this person, it's the same, but this person is like they're going to be known. I feel like they are going to be in the public eye. They're going to be known. They're going to achieve something huge where people see them. They're in the public eye, you know? Um, and I'm feeling here, maybe they can just drop their nine to five job, you know, that's what they're um, leaving behind or they can finally move to a different city because they um, saved enough money to go there. Wow, that's freaking amazing. Okay, my beautiful pie number four. I hope you like this reading. I'm probably going to do a continuation in the next video. Yeah, let me know down in the comments if you like it, subscribe. I don't like to say that, <laughs> but if you like to, then you can. Um, yeah, and I would love to see you in my next one. I wish you a lovely day. Bye.